immobilizers were first introduced in 1992 and have developed into state-of-the-art anti-theft systems that are included in most vehicles made in the last 20 years, including Honda's vehicles. To deactivate a Honda immobilizer, insert the key into your ignition and switch to the on position, then to the lock position. Remove the key, then put it back in and turn to the on position. This should automatically reset your Honda's immobilizer. If your Honda's anti-theft systems are not working, then you will want to know how to deactivate the Honda immobilizer until you fix the issue. You will need to shut off the system so your vehicle will start and run as normal, as a damaged or dead battery in your immobilizer chips will cause the vehicle to not run correctly. Before we look into how to deactivate the Honda immobilizer, let's take a look at how this system functions. What is an immobilizer? A car immobilizer, also known as an engine immobilizer, is a piece of electronic security equipment that is designed to prevent vehicle theft through hot wiring. A transponder chip in the key fob or smart key of your vehicle has to communicate with the car's immobilizer and convey a passcode before your vehicle will start. This is why car dealerships have started to increasingly use key fobs or smart keys on new vehicles instead of a physical key as it provides an extra level of safety whilst still maintaining all the functions you would need such as trunk access, unlocking doors and sometimes to remotely start your vehicle. If your immobilizer does not receive the right code when you attempt to start the engine then this will usually sound an alarm and some systems will notify a security company if it seems like theft is taking place. Here are some methods to try if you wanted to know how to deactivate the Honda immobilizer. Method 1. If your vehicle has had an attempted break-in or the anti-theft system has been triggered for any reason, then you will be unable to start it. Here's how to disable it. With your ignition off, Check your anti-theft light on the dashboard. It will either be blue or red. 2. Turn your ignition on and check again if the light is illuminated. If it is no longer blinking, then turn the key over to the off position and leave it to sit for up to 5 minutes to give it time to reset. 3. Try to start your engine. Method 2. If you have a physical key for your vehicle, then you can try and use this to disable your anti-theft system and reset them. 1. Insert the key into your door lock on the driver's side. 2. Turn the key to unlock your door and leave it like this for 30 seconds before trying to start your vehicle again. 3. If this doesn't work, then some models may require a slightly different process, such as turning the key back and forth multiple times before it recognises the key is present in the cylinder and disables your Honda's immobilizer. Alternative methods. If you find neither of these methods has worked to disable your Honda's immobilizer, then other users have reported that these methods have worked for them. You can try pressing your key fob five times and hitting the lock button, then waiting a few moments to see if this will reset your immobilizer. Alternatively, you can try leaving your Honda with the ignition on for 10 minutes to reset the system or manually open your car door with the key and turn it to unlock then locked twice before leaving the car to run for 10 minutes. Where is my Honda immobilizer code? If you need the immobilizer code for your Honda then you will need to have your service book or use a manual to hand. These books will have a dedicated section for your vehicle's specific immobilizer and there you will find the code. If you cannot locate the code, then you can sometimes ask a car garage to do this for you, as long as you can provide sufficient evidence you are the owner of the vehicle. Common Honda Immobilizer Faults Honda vehicles are commonly known for suffering from immobilizer faults. Most commonly reported is an issue with the transmitter which will then affect the immobilizer which will need a replacement. As a more economical option, you can also disable it. However, you will no longer be covered by your insurance if it gets stolen and you will be less protected against theft. The second most common immobilizer fault is with a receiver which has a worn transponder 
that will need replacing by a technician. To summarize what we talked about in this video, having an issue with your Honda's immobilizer is a regularly reported issue and there are ways you can reset this system to enable you to drive your vehicle safely. The first thing you should try to deactivate a Honda immobilizer is to insert the key into your ignition and switch to the on position and then to the lock position. Remove the key, then put it back in and turn to the on position. This should automatically reset your Honda's immobilizer. Here we have listed several methods that should hopefully answer the burning question of how to deactivate the Honda immobilizer. If you have purchased a Honda second hand, then make sure you have access to the immobilizer code to prevent these issues from reoccurring in the future and leaving your engine without power. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of our videos.